Peppa Pig, the beloved British preschool animated series that revolves around a preschooler pig named Peppa, her friends and family. The show, the show is shown in 200 countries. There's a Peppa Pig theme park in New Hampshire and Peppa merchandise, making Peppa a one billion dollar industry. But is Peppa all that wholesome? You should hope so if your children and siblings are watching her, but after watching this video, you might think otherwise. I'm about to tell you 10 dark Peppa Pig theories that will ruin your childhood. Or your child's childhood. Welcome back to the Inform Overload, where we overload you with information. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and I'm coming at you with another IO Top 10. Subscribe for spicy news updates and epic lists, and follow the IO team on social media. Here are 10 dark Peppa Pig theories that will ruin your childhood. At number 10, Peppa Pig has four eyes and four nostrils. Have you ever noticed that Peppa Pig is a 2D pig and her eyes are always on the side of her head? Peppa always appears side on. Only half her face is ever visible. This strange theory has led some people to believe that she might actually look really scary from a front view. One artist shared an image of what he believes Peppa looks like from the front on Twitter, and friends, it ain't pretty. It shows Peppa with four eyes and four nostrils. It is safe to say that the image went viral and racked up tens of thousands of likes, and I'm never going to be able to unsee it. A four-eyed Peppa Pig. Those four eyes make her far less cute, more like a Peppa the Spider Pig. In at nine, Peppa Pig is actually seven feet tall. Peppa Pig is in preschool, and one of the reasons why she's so cute and appealing to preschoolers is because she's small. But a viral photo of a supposed Google search appears to show that Peppa Pig is actually seven foot one. And the better question is, if Peppa Pig is seven feet tall, then how tall is Daddy Pig? Spoiler alert, 12 foot six inches. Suddenly Peppa Pig is not very cute anymore. Do you know any children who wouldn't be afraid of a giant seven foot tall pig? I'm a grown woman and I would run the heck away from a seven foot tall pig. Sliding into eight, where are Peppa Pig's grandparents? Peppa Pig only has one set of grandparents, who are Mummy Pig's parents. The show never introduces Daddy Pig's parents as characters. There are several theories about what happened to Daddy Pig's parents and why they're not included. The first, Daddy Pig's parents are dead. They're pigs, so maybe they were killed and turned into pork products. The second, Daddy Pig doesn't have a good relationship with his parents and he hates them. The third, Mummy Pig does not get along with Daddy Pig's parents, which most people believe is most likely because Mummy Pig's parents are rich. Maybe Daddy Pig's parents weren't rich and they didn't approve of their relationship. The last theory is the most disturbing. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are actually brother and sister with only one set of parents. At number seven, Animal Hierarchy. Ever wonder why some animals in the show are still animals and others are human-like? We know that Peppa Pig is a talking pig with human characteristics. So is the rest of her family and her friends. They have human-like interactions, human-like problems. But why is it that there's also other animals in the show that are just animals? Ducks and Peppa Pig don't talk. They swim around the pond and they quack like regular ducks. Polly the parrot is also just a parrot. She's Granny and Grandpa Pig's pet. There are actually several pets in Peppa Pig that don't talk. They're just pets. Why? One blogger from the Houston press might have the answer. There are slaves and food. He likens Peppa Pig's universe to that of George Orwell's Animal Farm. And if you didn't read that growing up, it's a book about a group of farm animals that have rebelled against their human farmer in order to make a society where animals are equal, free, and happy. With respect to Peppa's world, the theory is that Peppa's world is one where humans are no longer at the top of the food chain. Instead, mammals have made it up the ranks. All the lesser animals have taken on the sub roles. Animal Farm is not a happy book and it basically revolves around the theme that socialism doesn't work and there's always going to be people trying to secure power for themselves. Oh, and did I mention the main antagonist in Animal Farm is a power hungry dictator and a pig named Napoleon? At number six on our list, Peppa Pig is for punks. Did you know that Peppa Pig is banned in China? Back in May of 2018, it was reported that you couldn't search hashtag Peppa Pig on Douyin, one of China's most popular video apps. That's because over 30,000 Peppa videos were removed from the platform. You also couldn't search the catchphrase, get a tattoo of Peppa Pig, give a round of applause to gangsters on the platform Weibo. This is because Chinese internet users in China have associated Peppa Pig with a culture called Shi Hu Ren which translates to society people. Chi Hu Ren are anti-establishment street punks who go against Chinese mainstream values and Peppa Pig just happens to be their icon. Of course, this is against the law in China, so Peppa is banned. The Communist Party newspaper once said that Peppa should, I quote, not be allowed to destroy children's childhood. Halfway there at number five, Peppa Pig is making your children naughty. Kids love Peppa Pig and that much is true. It seems to be an innocent cartoon about a pig and her friends and family, but it seems 
seems to be so popular that kids are starting to copy her behavior. This phenomenon is called the Peppa effect. At first, the Peppa effect was cute. Kids started adopting cute little British accents and calling their mothers mummy, and they started oinking. But child fans of Peppa Pig are also copying her other behavior as well. Because most of the children that watch Peppa Pig are preschoolers, their brains are still developing. Therefore, if your child does nothing but watch Peppa Pig, they're gonna start copying her bad traits too. Peppa can be bossy, rude, and condescending. I don't care how cute you are as a three year old girl, if you're bossy, you ain't so cute anymore. Peppa makes fun of her dad all the time, she's short with her friends when she doesn't get her way, and she throws tantrums. Many parents have been reporting that their children are copying Peppa's favorite phrases when similar scenarios come up in their real lives. If Peppa Pig has that much power over your children, imagine the type of subliminal messages the show might be subconsciously sending your children. Which leads me to my next couple of points. At number four, Peppa Pig is telling kids they won't have a stable income. Ever heard of the rise of the gig economy? Well, it's this phenomenon where many millennials are experiencing that instead of having one stable job that pays them enough money to survive, people have to get multiple jobs. The rise of the gig economy is definitely prevalent in today's society. While contract employees have always been around, there's been a definite increase in the amount of them. Being a contractor has its perks, but you also don't get any employment benefits, no job security, and definitely no dental. The creators of Peppa Pig included this phenomenon in the show through the character Miss Rabbit, who has many different jobs. She's been a Christmas tree seller, a supermarket cashier, a helicopter pilot, a fire engine driver, and even a dental nurse, just to name a few. The theory is that the character of Miss Rabbit and Peppa Pig is teaching children that they need to be prepared for a life of employment uncertainty. In at three, Peppa Pig is a tool for commie propaganda. Peppa Pig is a show that is by all accounts woke. And by that I mean it has themes that are very liberal or communist, depending on how far right you are on the political spectrum. Peppa Pig has feminist characters, strong female leads including Miss Rabbit, who always seems to have a new job. And many of those jobs would have been seen as traditionally male 20 years ago. Other themes in the show include equal marriage, multiculturalism, and fanatical environmentalism, which has led some to believe that the show is communist, Marxist propaganda that molds children's minds from a young age. Almost there now, number two, Peppa Pig's dark origin story. There's a theory that exists on Reddit put forward by Reddit user Banana04, and that theory is that Peppa is based on a real girl of the same name. This girl lived in Tennessee in a secluded wooden area, and her parents were awful human beings. They were mentally unstable, which caused them to abuse Peppa, and their favorite name for her was Pig. They would call her a pig repeatedly, so often that Peppa began to think up imaginary friends that were other animals. The girl Peppa is supposedly based on also had a brother, but her brother was not abused in the same way that she was, so she tried to kill him. Her parents caught her in the act and locked her in the basement of their house, where she starved to death. It is thought that this origin story came to light because a man claims to have gotten lost in the woods in Tennessee and he came across the exact house. Peppa's parents agreed to let him stay in the basement, forgetting Peppa was still down there. And the number one dark Peppa Pig theory on our list, Peppa is brainwashing your children with satanic messages. Starting things off, those pig faces look like, well, male genitalia, leading some people to believe that there are subliminal messages of eroticism. There are also moments that the show displays Illuminati symbols and Freemasonry symbols. The pig's curly tails, for example, they form a six. And when there's three pigs in a row, like there often is, it forms the number 666, the number of the devil. And even the fact that Peppa is a pig could be seen as satanic. Pigs are traditionally seen as dirty animals, especially by Jewish and Muslim people, which is why they don't eat pork. But they aren't the only ones who don't think highly of pigs. In Christianity, Jesus casts out demons and turns them into pigs in Matthew 8. Pigs along with rams and goats are consistently associated with the devil, or at the very least, pigs are the minions of Satan. In many different cultures across the world, there are demons in the form of pigs. There's some food for thought. Alright, there you have it. Do you think any of these dark theories could be true? Are you never going to watch Peppa Pig again? Does this make you want to watch Peppa Pig even more? Let me know in the comments, and while you ponder that, I'm going to respond to some of your comments from past videos. Futuristic Gaming House said, oh my god, I love watching IO secretly in school. You're a bad kid. Bad! but also good, keep watching. <laughs> Maggie Production said, this channel is so amazing, huge fan. Well, you are just a peach, aren't you? Come back for more, why don't you? That is it for me, and thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, check out this playlist right over here with a bunch of videos just like this one. And obviously, if you enjoyed your time here, you should leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm gonna see you in a future IO video.